Hello basketball coaches and basketball players, my name is Alan from Al's Basketball Training and today I'm going to talk to you about some very quick hitting inbounds plays that you can use after a timeout. So hello everyone, my name is Alan from Al's Basketball Training. If you're new to this channel, on this channel I show you basketball plays, drills, and skills. So if you like that stuff, hit that like button and subscribe. But anyways, today I'm going to talk to you about some quick hitting basketball inbounds plays along the baseline that you can run after a timeout. So these are plays that you can run when there's basically maybe only 5 or 10 seconds left on the clock and you need to get that basketball inbounded and a quick shot. So let's get down to the clipboard and let's check out these basketball plays. Okay, so here we are down on the clipboard. We have a man-to-man -man defense in this first play. So first what we are going to have is player one setting up a screen for player two who is going to use that screen and he's going to pop out to this wing. We're going to hope that he's open. If he is not open, what's going to happen now is player four is going to then use player one as a screen and he's going to be popping up to the top he may be an option for a lob and if he's not let's say player four fought through player one is going to cut towards the low post where he's going to receive that ball and go in for the layup now if player four gets that ball we're going to set up a quick offense where we can have something like a five player five uses a screen and roll or player three uses player five as a screen and player three gets that for the three-point shot or the mid-range shot if player one gets that ball down there he's gonna go in for the shot now for our first option I showed you with player two once player two gets that ball what we are looking to do now is have player four well player one for one popping out player two could take that shot that is one option if player two red however gets through player one is gonna pop out we're going to have player 3 blue clear out to the other side and we're going to have player 4 setting a screen across to player 5 who's going to use that screen and this is going to be a quick layup by player 5. So this, this play, once the ball is inbounded, should only take maybe 5 seconds to run total once the basketball has been inbounded in, onto the court. So this next defense is a 2-3, and this is most likely how they're going to be guarding a straight line or a 1-4, whoops, a 1-4 baseline inbounds. And basically what we are looking to do here is have player 4, he is going to go and keep, well, there's a few different options. This could be just a quick pass to player 1 for the shot. That is one option. Uh, another option that's going to be available is having player five set a screen on player four with player two cutting towards the rim we hope that player four is going to try and fight through that screen if player four fights through that screen player five needs to pop out quick for the shot if however there's they're a smart team where player five just basically switches off onto him player five needs to then box out basically turn and box out player four where now player 5 can get that ball and player 3 can get inbounds to get the rebound and player 5 can take one dribble towards the basket for a shot or he can just basically set up a floater or a regular shot because with player 4 behind him if player 4 tries to block him it's going to be a foul so what we're hoping to get here is just a quick shot off and this is going to only take maybe at most I would say two seconds so if you only have a couple of seconds left on the clock this is definitely an amazing option for you now in this next play we're gonna set up four players up high and we're gonna most likely have the defense playing the way we have here where player four is gonna be guarding the inbounder or they could be just totally spread out Player three might be playing on the low post. It depends on what's going on, but either way, it doesn't matter. We're gonna have our shooter right here. So if anything, if player two is our shooter, we're gonna have them switch out. Whoever is our shooter, that's gonna be him there. And what we're gonna have now is player five setting a screen on player four, and player two is going to be then using that screen, popping out to the free throw line extended and we're hoping to get player two the ball now he could take that shot if he's open if he is not open and player two was following him out we're then going to have player one running along the three-point line this is going to be a quick pass out 
we're going to be then having a screen with player four. Meanwhile, player three blue is popping out straight out this way from the from the baseline. And now player one could have that three point shot unless he gets covered quickly. Whereas now player three may be open for the shot as well for the extra pass. Now in our final play, this is against a man to man defense. We're going to set up a, a, like a straight line up high as well. And what we're going to have here is we're going to have a few different options that we can set up. So first we're going to have, I'm going to show you two different plays out of this. The first play is having player one setting a screen for player five. If you can get player one behind player five's man, player five can then cut towards the rim. And now he may be a quick pass for a layup and that would be great for a quick hitter. Now the other option is having player one setting a screen for player two where player two can then cut down the middle of the key and he may be open for a layup as well. And then our final option is having player five set a screen for player four and player four can cut down the middle of the key as well. So what you could do as a coach is have these as your options because these are very simple plays to, to run. You could teach your team each one of these and it's only going to take one practice to learn these. And then from there you're able to then say and bring your own quote your own clipboard out to the the game yourself and just say we're going to run the the quick hitting baseline inbounds and you're gonna, you can set up your 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 drawings and then you can say what i want is bobby to go here we want alan to go here we want uh, cody to go here and we want uh, sam to go over here and we want what what we want in this play is for Cody to screen for Sam and then cut towards the rim, something like that, where they already know the play, but now they're just getting it into their head of which play they're gonna run and which screen they're gonna be running. Now I hope that these basketball plays help your team. If they do, let us know in the description or I mean in the comments below. And also go check us out on Instagram at Al's B Ball and on Twitter at Al's B Ball. I'm gonna be posting more and more stuff on those platforms as well because I just have the need to give you as much content as possible because I want to help you become better basketball players and basketball coaches as best as possible. Anyways, my name is Alan. I'll see you guys tomorrow in another daily basketball video. Up in this corner is the subscribe button. Up in that corner is another video that YouTube is recommending for you.